Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Good morning. With us today is uh, Katie from uh, Chop Shop. Is it Chop Shop? Correct. Right? She has a unique concept when it comes to makeup and hair. Right? So I'm going to let you explain to our audience what that is. Well, at Chop Shop Full Service Hair Repair is our full name. Um, we're located in Waynedale. Our co-owners are actually from a garage-themed family. Um, they've always been into cars and car detailing, so we thought we'd bring in the fun concept into our salon. Mm -hmm. um, we consider ourselves a, a, an edgy salon. Mm -hmm. um, we do specialize in everything under the sun, but um, we do men, children, women, the whole nine yards. But as far as our concept, um, we do have a very fun atmosphere. It is garage themed. All our We have toolboxes, the, the classic uh, Craftsman Red toolboxes that we work out of the, the, the salon floor and all the, the edging is all garage themed. So we, we think it's pretty fun. Um, we get a lot of compliments on it. And, Come in. So why chop shop? It's because <laughs> well, it, it actually started as far as in the hair industry. Um, chop shop has just been kind of like a a a name that many people associate with um, a salon. Mm -hmm. um, actually, in the hair industry, it actually had a negative connotation before, mm -hmm. and we decided to make it a positive. Oh, um, awesome! Yeah. And also, it, it does flip for the garage theme as far as car parts and yeah. things like that. So it, it fit well with the family that we are owned by. So yeah. other than the toolboxes, do you have like hubcaps singing and license plates or anything like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so even, I, I would suggest like even if somebody doesn't want to get the haircut or makeup, just come and have the experience, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. And come and like stay, take a look at it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Katie, tell us why Mondays are great for you. Well, uh, our Monday, actually, our shop's closed. Um, it's kind of a, a unwritten rule in the beauty industry that Mondays are closed usually at your shop. Um, I enjoy Mondays just because it is um, my day of rest, but at the same time, I kind of reflect on the week prior and get started for the week ahead, whether it's going to the supply house and getting things ready for the shop or... Um, just reflecting on the clients and the experiences that we had prior week. Oh, great. So is that how you would kickstart your Monday then? Absolutely. Shopping and getting ready for the next week? And <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Getting those supplies so when we come in, you're yes. all stocked? Great. <laughs> so what kind of advice can you give other people who are in your industry? Well, first and foremost, obviously we are a client based industry at customer service. Mm -hmm. So each client, I, I always suggest this even to my new stylist, is treat them as if it's the only client you're ever going to serve. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that they are completely satisfied with whatever you've done to them. Um, make sure that you're on the same page as far as mm -hmm. what you're going for, um, how you treat them, um, everything about them because it is about their experience versus mm -hmm. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Would you also say that you would keep up on the latest trends and, and things like that? Because I love the purple in your hair today. So yeah, is that like, let I me mean, do you keep up on those things? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, it, it is very easy to fall into a rut as far as in yeah. our industry. Yeah. But um, just, yeah, keeping up on trends. There are so many websites, so many um, educational tools out there that we're constantly looking at trying new concepts, trying new types of hair color, t trying new types of cutting techniques, things of that nature, just because, you know, it, it's out there for everyone to just easily look at, to easily be a part of, um, but it is, it's very easy to stick into a rut, and then that's where yeah. you get, you know, you want to keep up on the trends for sure. Great. Uh, Katie, do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Well, of course, there's multiple, but um, <laughs> okay, the ones that I can't say. <laughs> I guess proper my, ones. <laughs> my favorite would be um, you can't win unless you play. That's oh, at least that's been. good. That's, I haven't heard that. That's yeah. good. I like that. Um, it actually started a long time ago when people would always come to me and say, "Oh, I want to win the lottery," and well, you know, why can't I win the lottery? Well, <laughs> obviously, you can't win the lottery unless you buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. So then I just translated that into my life as far as 
things that I want to accomplish in my life and goals that I've set for myself. I can't do that unless you take the first steps and play the game. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, if you were to have a superpower, right? <laughs> One, I know you might want to have multiple, right? Oh, what would that be? Well, of course multiple, but yes, if I had to narrow it down to one. Um, I would have to say, since I am in a uh, customer service field, mm -hmm. I would love the power of mind reading. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, <I> bet. <laughs> yeah. because it is, it's, it's an industry that, you know, Someone can say one thing, but truly mean another thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just making sure that somebody is completely satisfied because they can obviously tell you to your face or to your, mm -hmm. their friend that they're happy. But in truth, you always want to know that just mm -hmm. for your own personal. And here is serious business. Yeah, here is serious business. <laughs> Absolutely. It truly is. <laughs> it could kill people. Absolutely. Yeah. True, it could. <laughs> Kate, tell us something that would surprise people who think they know you. Well, um, I feel like I'm pretty open about myself as far as I, I don't have anything to hide or anything of those nature, but um, actually, I actually, went at, right after high school, went to school for youth ministry, and a lot of That's people lot. really don't realize that. Mm -hmm. I've always had a passion about um, youth, and they're, you know, they are what starts everything, <laughs> so um, I... Unfortunately, in my experience, had a lot of um, people that uh, went the opposite way, and I was always focused on trying to provide a positive role model for, oh, for wow. teens and kids. So now the most important question here is how do people get hold of you? What is your location and phone number and that sort of stuff? Well, we are located in Wayndale. Um, our exact address is 6813 Old Trail Road. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's located next to a church across from the Chase Bank. Um, there is an auto shop right, or, right next to us, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is convenient for scrap parts. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but our phone number is 747-4693. Um, we also have a Facebook page. It right. is um, Chop Shop Full Service Hair Repair, because um, there are a few other chop shops in the Indiana area. Mm -hmm. um, but it, we have um, plenty of business cards that I, can, I always pass out to uh, <laughs> potential clients. But yeah, the easiest way to get a hold of us is just at the shop. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, can they ask for an appointment with you, Katie? Or absolutely. They, they can, can call up and ask for you? Absolutely. They, okay. We can specify for us certain stylist um, or we do accept walk-ins easily you know somebody off the street if we have the time or the availability and if not we can always set you up an appointment mm -hmm. so we would like to thank Katie for coming and joining today thank you. and we'd like to thank you the audience for listening in this is Monday Morning Jolt use it <laughs>